So first off, sorry for the construction sounds you might hear throughout the video. They're constantly building a huge new building right outside my window. So you might hear some pounding, you might hear some chainsaws. Don't worry, no one's getting murdered in the next room. It's not Scarface, they're just building a new condo. So one of the cool things I found out about the Philippines when I first moved here was the 24-7 delivery. Basically a bunch of fast food places deliver here 24-7 doesn't matter where you are you could be in the middle of the street as long as you know the general address and you can communicate it to the driver they'll take it right to you and where I'm from in the States basically there was only drive throughs and the only thing that actually delivered was pizza now there's like Postmates and Grubhub and all this stuff but that didn't exist when I left so needless to say I probably probably took a little too much of the fast food and definitely paid the price for it but there's some fast food things here that are kind of unique in the sense that there's menu items here that you don't find anywhere else in the world. So one of the unique things about the Philippines is that because there's so many Filipinos living abroad, they bring back a part of that culture with them to the Philippines. And a lot of times that's food. So the Philippines is one of the places or the few places I feel that you get like a really good accurate representation of different food from around the world or at least as best as possible. So you get French, you get Indian, you get Middle Eastern. Italian, all that food comes here. The one exception being Mexican food. Now there are places that try to make Mexican food. There is Taco Bell here. Army Navy sells a lot of Mexican food, but it's never really like Mexican food. For some reason, they make the salsa really sweet or make it some type of like garlic salsa and it just tastes really off. It just is something else. In fact, Filipino Mexican fusion food is really popular here. Like there's this one place called cilantro, which combines the two and it's got lines out the door all the time. So what you probably noticed watching travel vlogs and stuff like that, or even just traveling yourself, is that every single fast food place has their local specialties. So basically every fast food place here in the Philippines has some form of fried chicken or spaghetti. But what happens is, is that I think some companies use this place kind of like as a testing ground for different food items. And I think the most famous or infamous of which here is KFC. So KFC here in the Philippines is pretty popular. It's really cheap, it delivers 24 seven. You always see it crowded. But one thing about KFC Philippines is they kind of use it as like a testing ground here. Like they try really weird dishes that may or may not end up in the US. For example, everyone knows in the US that they launched the double down sandwich which was like this crazy sandwich, quote unquote, where basically they took two fried chicken breasts and then use that as like the sandwich buns and then put cheese and meat in the middle. So over here, they've tried some weird stuff. Like they took it a step further. Like they saw everyone here in the Philippines, you know, was eating hot dogs, usually like hot dog on a stick. So they took a hot dog and they basically made the double down dog, right? So they refashioned that double down chicken bun into a hot dog bun slapped a weenie in there and fed it to people. I think now they still might sell it, I'm not quite sure. So double down. So the Double Down Dog was a hype two years ago, but last year, KFC came out with what's known as Chizza. So Chizza was basically, you take away the, the crust or the bread of the pizza, you get a cylindrical piece of chicken and then you deep fry it, you know, make it crunchy. Then you put cheese and pepperoni on top and you cut it into slices. And there you had Chizza. So Chizza I actually wanted to try, but I don't know if I was scared or something, but basically I didn't get to try it. But anyway, we're gonna try the Choco in this video. And the reason why we're doing this is because I feel like maybe I need to cut back a little bit on the fast food. And I'm thinking of that mentality that, you know, basically if you're trying to like quit smoking or quit drinking, right? You'll smoke like 20 packs in a day or just go on this crazy binge with like a handle of vodka. And then you're like, I'm never doing that again the next day. So we're gonna try the Choco, hopefully we'll survive it, and see how it goes. And uh, yep, yeah, this is uh, life in the Philippines. So we got the Choco. I'm here with Ira, my lovely wife, because I can't eat food without including her in it. Say hi, Ira. Hello. Anyway, uh, Ira's been in some videos before. She's our amazing dancer slash fashion model. Um, from the travel video and uh, We couldn't really film in a KFC because I'm pretty sure they would have kicked us out So we're just gonna try it here in our humble abode make sure to follow uh, Make sure to follow Re Studio right there in the back. There's some of the artwork 
So at ReStudio on Twitter, at ReStudio on Instagram, and at ReStudio on uh, YouTube. Facebook. On Facebook. Well, not yet YouTube. Um, yeah, on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah. So I invited Ira because, you know, this is KFC Philippines. So whatever KFC makes here is for the Filipino market first. It's not for weird Americans like me. So I'm going to try it, give my opinion as a Mexican-American boy. And Ira is going to give her opinion as a pure-blooded Filipino, Filipina, Pinoy, Panay. What's the right term? Filipino. Strong, powerful, independent woman. That's the right term, right? <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's take a look at this. So, uh, as you can see, it comes in like this. Um, I guess like they basically put the normal meals in here, right? Yeah, cardboard. Yeah, so it's not like a fancy box or anything. And inside, you've got uh, the choco. There it is, right there. Um, yeah, I'll raise it. Um, I'll raise it up for the camera here and try yeah. not to spill. You didn't have the branding. So. You can see it's got the cheese right here, and it's got some type of salsa and corn and lettuce, brown round lettuce. lettuce. Uh, you can see it's got the um, Chaco branding, right? No shell, all chicken. Uh, see if that can be seen a little bit better there. Um, but yeah, it comes in like a boat, I guess. And uh, I guess I'll take first dibs, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll take the first bite. Now, this is a big greasy piece of chicken, so I guess that's the way you're supposed to eat it. Is it crunchy? It's not really crunchy. It's more like, there's like this like, beef products in it. Oh, beef? Yeah. Oh, it's probably with the salsa. It's like, like that. Chili. It's like that fake beef you get from like Taco Bell. Should I try it? <laughs> I don't like the way you described it. Uh, yeah, try it. It's like, um, it's like if you have a big chicken strip and you basically like wrapped it around some, it's basically if you got like a Taco Bell taco, uh, like the normal one, dumped it on the floor and then you got like a chicken strip and you like grabbed it like with if it was bread and ate it. That's what it's like. What do you think? Are you disgusted? You don't look very happy. Is that the nastiest thing you've ever tried? Um. Let me, let me know what you think. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't like it. You know. Okay, so the thing with it is, um, I think I tasted random stuff. Like it's not, it's not lean chicken meat. No, like you can yeah, see. It um, has like stuff in it that's, that doesn't taste like I'll see meat. if I can put it in this camera first. Like you can see it's, it's kind of like this gray chicken. Like I don't want it to spill, but. Uh, yeah, it's, we it's can not put like, this there. it's not like um, chicken breast, you know, it's, it's yeah. like random stuff. It's like chicken byproduct. Yeah. It's it like is. what you make a chicken nugget out of. Because I tasted something that that's like a soft bone or something. Ugh. Like, like I mean, gelatin. So the thing here is like when you get chicken in the Philippines, especially at the fast food places, um, especially at KFC, like I'm sure you've had chicken in the States before. And you know, when you get like a chicken sandwich, it's like this nice juicy looking white breast meat. But you know, the food here is so cheap. Like this thing is only like, well, actually it's kind of expensive. It's 100. two bucks. It's 100 pesos. That's not yeah. cheap. But most things like 30, 40 pesos, right? Which is less than a dollar. And you know, quality is different. So like I, I call it gray meat. So when you bite into like the chicken here, like a chicken sandwich, like a zinger, um, it's, uh, it's gray inside. It's not that white pristine breast meat that you've been having. So uh, yeah, and I, I kind of don't like the way the salsa tastes. Yeah, a salsa and this thing does not go well together. It didn't have beef, like you said. Right. It's just weird, kind of like, it's like a poor imitation of like paste picante salsa. 
And the worst thing is, is the lettuce comes in and it's like this cheap iceberg lettuce. Yeah. And then it's kind of <laughs> slimy from the salsa. <laughs> the salsa. Uh -huh. So you get this like crunchy, crispy texture followed by salsa, yeah. followed by kind of like slime. And then there's corn in there too. Yeah. I mean, if they just placed in like onions and tomatoes, right? It would have been simpler and better. Like a real taco, I guess. I guess, yeah, like onions, cheese. Yeah, this could have been just yeah, like a, piece a, of bacon. a canned salsa or something. No, it's not even salsa. It's just the sauce of the chili, of a chili. Yeah, and then when it kind of like soaks the, the the breaded chicken, yeah, um, it kind of like makes it worse. <laughs> uh, Did the cheese taste like cheese? I, I honestly didn't even taste the cheese. <laughs> yeah. I didn't taste cheese at all. I didn't taste cheese. I'd call you a liar to say, unless I'm looking at it in my eyes, but I, mean, I don't it has, taste it. It has tons of cheese. So you see it has lots of cheese. Um, weird enough, it doesn't have, it doesn't look like it has any tomatoes inside. It's just corn. Um, there's this red thing here, which looks like a, a skin of a red bell pepper, I guess. Well, like one, one tiny piece of that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to finish it? Uh, anyway, this is how we spend our Sundays as a family. <laughs> Very fun and productive. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you want to find out more exclusive products of the Philippines, uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, we're testing out some new equipment for this video, so it was fun. More videos coming soon. Leave a comment if you want to know about a Chaco for some reason. Or if you want to find out about more of Ira's art, again, that's Re Studio on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, everywhere. And the website, www.restudio.com. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks. Thanks for joining us. Um, some cool videos coming up next. I'm working on a nice little life recap video that I think will be pretty fun. And uh, we'll catch you next time. See you later.